I'm Justin. I'm Britta filling in for Rachel. And this is week three of Beginning Swing at Wednesday Night Hop in June 2019. And uh, this is week D, week three. S- series D, week oh, three. Yes. Month D. <laughs> uh, and so today we sort of uh, worked on some, what we call chill Charleston steps. We were taking things that you might know from a Charleston class or that you might never seen before, and we just did them with stepping. So the first thing we did was just sort of walking around the room, partnered with our partner, and we just said rock, step, forward. And you can keep going forward until you change direction. And we change direction with what we call a rock step. Either On either foot, it doesn't really matter. Here I'm rock stepping on my inside foot. We could also rock step on our outside foot. It doesn't matter. So we played with this, and we walked around in a circle yeah. and We so pulsed on. to maintain that consistent flow as we were walking, and to stay connected with a partner. Um, And we decided to, or we were working on being really decisive when we were changing directions, right? Knowing ahead of time that we're going to change to communicate that clearly. So, um, and we said like, even though we're just doing this as an exercise, this is actually a thing that you can do to survive when the music is really fast. So you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, I have to do a move all the time. You can just walk around and chill out with your partner and that's a cool thing too. Yeah. So then we did a pattern in this, um, which we called the Charleston basic. We'll show it to you from behind, actually. Maybe that makes a little sense. Um, it goes like this, back and forward, forward and back. This is just a specialization of the walking. Back and forward, forward and back. And then, do you want to say anything about this? Nope. Then Great. we added on barn doors. So this looked like this on speed five. I would move my hand to my partner's uh, hip, and we spent a little bit of time figuring out where our partner's hip was. And then we'll open up. Step and forward, step and new forward, step and this direction, step and this direction. And we said when we wanted to end it, I just bring my hand all the way around my partner's waist and we end it like that. Yeah, and then for followers, we're aiming for the same spot each time on roughly the shoulder, depending on how tall your partner is. Um, But the only difference is that you'll feel your partner coming in closer when they're closing it up. And then your hand will extend a little more across. Then the final figure that we did was what we called a skip up or kick up, or we said Russian Lindy Hoppers call this kick the dog. Um, And it looks like this. We did back and step, step, big kick, step, step, rock, step, and we're back into this. And we said that final uh, turn at the end is optional. If we left that off, it would just look like back and step, step, kick, and rock, step, step, step. Uh, And so that was cool. And then at the very end, we said, by the way, we had been calling this Charleston, where are the kicks? The kicks were always there, just hiding. Um, If you want to, every time we say step, you could just kick step, and it would just look like rock step, kick step, kick step. But one person can do it while the other does not, for instance, still totally works. And so we said, if you've seen this before, hey, now you have twice as many moves because everything you can do twice, um, two different ways. Yep. So that's it. We'll see you all next week.